No, that'd be insane. This is how you cable manage. How are we all doing this morning? It's a beautiful Wednesday and I am headed to Cody Jones' house to paint his color grading studio. We're gonna paint the walls like 18% gray. He got the fancy paint. You know, he's done a lot to help me, to help the channel, to help my filmmaking. This is one thing I can do to pay it back, even though I feel like I'm in debt to you, Cody, much more than what this painting session can do to repay it. Jump in the truck, get to Cody's house, and get to painting. I think it helps to have keys. Gotta double check where I put them. Oh, they're in my pocket. Awesome. Back out of the old driveway. Text Cody that I'm here. What's up, dude? Morning. Hey, buddy. Got my coffee. Oh, man. Let's do this. The CX? C1. Oh, wow. Upstairs? Upstairs. Oh, dang. Yeah. Wow. Studio. I'm painting it gray, finally, and my white balance sucks. <laughs> So we gotta like move all this stuff off the walls because we're gonna paint the walls 18% gray. It's supposed to be FSI, uh, well, I suppose we'll see it when we paint it. The most neutral you can get over the counter. If you wanna go all the way, you can get, it's like $118 a gallon. And why do you want this studio painted gray? So there's the meme with the blue and gold dress, or no, sorry, the white and gold dress oh, and, yeah, yeah. and the black and blue dress. Yeah. And so depending on what light conditions you were in when you look at the image is how the dress would appear on your screen because your screen is always 6,500. Yeah, 6,500 white balance like your screen. Right, so if you're in like a tungsten room at night with yeah. tungsten lights, the dress might look different. Right. Same thing with your screen when you're color grading. So that's why you need pigmentless paint. You don't want to have any eye shifts. For your eyeballs. For your eyeballs. Like a, like, a, like a neutral point to start from. Right, perfect gray. Well pretty close to perfect gray. All the cables are perfectly organized. This is gonna be <laughs> such an easy task. This is how you cable manage. is this wrong well we just went to lunch sorry we didn't bring you guys along all right so painting's going good the wall looks nice and dry and uh it's actually looks really good so we still have two walls left to go so we have to rearrange the room to get access to those two walls and i think i've got about two and a half hours left where i can be here and so we're going to get it done in two and a half hours heck yeah for sure for sure so let's quit vlogging and get to it get 100% done. There's still a second coat on this wall and the edge work, all that stuff needs to get done again. And then obviously the room needs to be put back together. The new TV brought upstairs, the curtains and all that hung, everything put back to where it was. Cody's gonna do maybe a little bit more tonight. And I might come back tomorrow and finish any edging or just clean up getting my stuff, helping him with the TV, whatever needs to, and putting this stuff back obviously too. So yeah, good day of painting. Sweet. It always takes longer than you think. Oh my gosh, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Shoot. All right, so I think I've got everything. Time to go get ready to drive out of here and go to Cody's house. There's just too much to take. 
cake everywhere. Why? Why is there so much stuff? So I'm not gonna film me driving and stuff. Let's just cut to Cody's. Oh, hey. It's looking good though. It is, you can really tell though now that the sun's out again. Painting is officially done. It's not fully dry yet, but we're gonna start putting the room back together. All right, so we got the room pretty much put back together. The couch needs to go back against the wall, coffee table brought in and all that, but we've got the Credenza leveled off, the stereo speaker, or most of the speakers, but we can't get the TV upstairs. TV is the next thing. I have to leave though in, what's it, 220? I have to leave in 20 minutes. Pick up my kid and bring her home. So we're gonna get the TV up here and unboxed, I think, and then, or I'll take a break and then come back and button it up and see what that TV looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. So we have to drag it up here. That's gonna be fun. Oh boy. Oh, we can do the roll. One new TV! Whoa. There it is. Sweet. All right. The battery's going into the remote. The stock battery's Bexel, whatever that is, who knows. But they're gonna power this remote for probably ever. end of repainting Cody's studio, I didn't really get any footage where I formally ended the vlog. I got sidetracked because I asked Cody if he would color correct my main studio angle for one of my recent videos on the YouTube channel. I wanted to see what his grade looked like compared to what I did with very rudimentary knowledge of color grading in Final Cut. So uh, I sat down and had him screen record. We didn't get the greatest audio because we were just recording audio off of the display on his computer. And I didn't really think the session was gonna be something I wanted to include in the video, but then I decided that it was. And you can take a look at what he did with it versus what I did in Final Cut Pro and judge for yourself what you think looks better. So take a look at what Cody did to my footage in DaVinci Resolve in his color grading studio. So I'm gonna bring this in and Matt's very distressed, but I'm gonna just apply my uh, Aces No Tree. Um, it's a no tree that I've pre-built uh, that I can use to handle most uh, most color grades. Sometimes it requires some tweaks depending on what kind of footage I'm getting from production, uh, but most of the time it does the trick. So I'll just kind of bring in my node tree and then I'm going to start with my first node which is uh, the transform from whatever camera color space and gamut I receive into Airy Log. So I'll take that and input that uh, camera color space and make sure that that gets all set up nice and good. And then um, and then I'll go ahead and apply some stuff. Like this is a quick highlight adjustment uh, that I've made where I use uh, contrast and pivot in order to bring down the highlights with a contrast curve instead of a uh, linear adjustment. So it rolls off a little more like film. Uh, so that's nice. And maybe throw a vignette on 
But then I might want to look at like Filmbox, uh, which is a plugin that I got that can apply a film grain and look pretty easily. You know, it looks like we could. I want to try out Scatter too because Scatter is another plugin that I have that emulates filters, filtration. So what I can do here is tell it what color space it's receiving, and then we could look at like a quarter black pro mist. Looks like you're still a little bright. I'm gonna bring you down to like 75 here. Let me show you with and without the pro mist. If you check out the lamp in the top left, yep, there's with it. Yeah. And without. Yeah, you get that really nice, mm -hmm. soft kind of diffusion coming off the light. Yep, and I mean, what's great is <laughs> you want to drop in a whole a whole pro mist. We can look at a whole pro mist, you know, like <laughs> yeah. it's awesome. What lens did you shoot on? Fifty? Uh, no, this is the seventeen to thirty-five two eight. What focal length do you think you were at? Thirty-five. Uh, I was probably at thirty. I'll enter that focal length as well, which will affect the way the the pro mist looks. Yeah, maybe I'll come in here and correct your skin tones a little bit because. Uh, our film box didn't quite handle skin tones so well, and film always film's always kind of had a green look to it. Um, I think people forget that, and it's also corrected for. So um, I'll still, you know, film box has been very true to film and the fact that they add that back, yeah, and allow you to dial it out. really flat. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Just subtle. And then I think I'll also maybe want to white balance this image a little bit here, actually, before I go too crazy on that. Yeah, this was 5600 with the key light being that 120D. Mm -hmm, okay. And then what I, you probably at 800 ISO, yeah? Yep. Maybe like 500T, it'd probably be more. And then I'll white balance just a little bit here to get some of that. To cool it off just a little bit, like your gray shirt still felt a little warm. Video, but you know, some people will recognize split toning. But you know, doing mm. uh, no, you can split tone. You know. I mean, in the film process, you can. That's yeah. a, I mean, heck, I have there's a split tone right here. It's in. enabling the effect helps. There we go. All right, let's turn it up here a little higher just so we can. Yeah, you know, there it is. Yeah, I hate, I hate that. We got a little. Little teal in the shadows and mm -hmm. teal and orange. Baby. I would almost like see if there's a halfway point between this and what it was without it. Yep. So I'll just pull the fader back to half. There. Yeah. Yeah. Just a splash of it. You know. Just a so little bit. Just a hint. And then can you go back and forth between what you have here and then yeah. what I did? Yeah. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Man, this is so much darker. <laughs> it's very dark. Uh, but I also, you know, the film look that I have kind of lets those blacks be lifted. If you want to see it with a little more contrast, we definitely can look at that. I wonder, and, and, and again, me, me not knowing if I'm thinking in the right terms, is I wonder if just bringing the mids down a little bit. Yeah. On this. Definitely. I don't know how lifted the shadows are on, like, the waveform. Uh but and then maybe the highlights mm -hmm, mm -hmm. up a little bit let's get some of that brightness back oh hi yeah a little bit <laughs> less of that jazz yeah that's pretty 
pretty punchy there. clip. Wow. It's just sh shocking how much different it looks. <laughs> well, thanks. And here's that black adjustment I threw on there yeah, if you want it a little like that. If you want it to be a little punchier, you know, we can bring that down in there too. Yeah. There's yours. Wow. It, you know, it feels similar to yours then, you know, and in, in like look and vibe. The sweater on this one is more pleasing to me for some reason. Sure. A little bit more towards that black and gray color than the blue. Mm, yeah, they're like neutralize it a little bit so it's not so blue. Yeah. not as dark as yours, but yeah. I mean, both look good. Like yeah, you said, for I, YouTube, it's... I think, you know, what I like about this one is that you're not getting all that redness in the skin tones on mine, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, I see what you're saying. So let's take a look at Cody's final grades. He did one with a film emulation and then one without. And then of course there's my grade just at Final Cut Pro, which was in the final video that you all saw on YouTube. Personally, I feel like the film emulation is a little too stylized and not quite something I would want to use in a YouTube video. I did like the non-film emulation grade and think Cody did a great job tackling my C300 footage. I know I don't do a lot of vlogging on the channel, but thanks to all of you for sticking through it and checking out just sort of a day in the life of helping out a good friend of mine who's always there for me when I need help with my filmmaking and YouTube channel. Cody, I think the studio looks great, especially with that new LG television. And thanks for letting me come along for a couple of days to help overhaul the studio. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. You know the drill. Like, share, subscribe, click all the things. Until the next one, I'll see y'all soon. Yeah.